This video shows how to create and manage suborganizations in Administrator. Suborganizations represent different business environments within your company, like clients or departments. The number of suborganizations you can create is based on your licenses. Suborganizations inherit licenses from the parent organization, but they don't inherit the license to create suborganizations, so you can't create suborganizations within a suborganization. Creating a suborganization offers several advantages. You can manage suborganization licenses individually, or you can automatically synchronize them with the parent organization. You can manage users and assets separately, since they aren't shared across organizations. You can share runtime environments in the parent organization with the suborganizations, and push bundles of resources from the parent organization to the suborganizations. Administrators in the parent organization can also switch into a suborganization without logging out and logging back in. Now let's create a suborganization. In Administrator, go to the Organization page and create a new suborganization. Then enter the suborganization properties and save it. Next, view the suborganization details to verify licenses and configure runtime environments, user accounts, and connections so that other people can use it. Let's switch back to the parent organization to show another way you can create a suborganization. You can also create a suborganization by linking an existing organization. The organization you link can't have any suborganizations, and it needs to exist on the same pod as the organization you're linking from. Enter the organization ID and the username and password for an administrator in the organization that you want to link. The organization you link becomes a suborganization. You can edit, unlink, delete, or disable a suborganization from the actions menu. And that's it. For more information, see organization administration on the Informatica documentation portal.